Welcome everyone to the second part of the Nutanix Files architecture series. In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of a file server instance. A Nutanix Files instance represents an individual file server namespace. The file server is made up of file server virtual machines, also called FSVMs. You can create a file server instance on a Nutanix cluster of any size. If you have a three node physical cluster or larger, you'll typically start with at least three FSVMs. For each file server instance, affinity rules are applied to ensure the file server VMs run on separate nodes of a cluster. You can scale out a file server at any time. So if you want to start small, you can add individual nodes as you go. You can also scale up the compute resources of the file server VMs as you need. A single file server instance can grow up to 16 file server VMs, and this can be on a physical cluster of up to 32 nodes. So this allows you to scale to tens of thousands of user connections and petabytes of data in a single namespace. For smaller robo environments made up of one or two physical nodes, you would deploy a single file server VM that would represent a file server instance. A single node instance is a fully featured file server. You get all the benefits of Nutanix files. But one thing to keep in mind is that they do not scale out. So they'll always be made up of a single file server VM. You can also deploy multiple file servers on the same physical cluster. Each file server instance can have a unique configuration, including different compute resources and a differing number of file server VMs. You can also deploy single FSVM instances within larger clusters, really just to match your needs. The most common reasons for running multiple file servers include permission separation due to environments which may have multiple domains that have no trust relationship. Also network separation, including dedicating file servers to specific networks and VLANs, and also separate administrative boundaries for your different tenants. So those are the basics for what makes up a file server instance. We'll dig deeper into the components of a file server as we move through the series. Thanks for watching.